It was a scorching hot day. Jesus was traveling and stopped in Samaria to rest. Under the hot sun, Jesus sat by a well. He was thirsty and hoping someone could help him get a drink. Soon, a woman from Samaria came to the well to draw water. Jesus asked her for a drink. The woman was too shocked to give him water because Jesus was Jewish and Jewish people did not talk to or hang out with Samaritans. Jesus said, It's okay. If you really knew who I am, you would be asking me for water. What? You don't even have a bucket. How could you get me water? Hang down into the well by your feet and get water by the handful? Jesus could see she was confused. Everyone who drinks water from this well will be thirsty again. But I have come to share a living water that will satisfy your thirst forever. Living water? On a hot day like this, it sounds too good to be true. Okay, please give me this living water so I won't be thirsty anymore. Then Jesus said something she wasn't expecting. It's not just water you're looking for. I know that you are lonely and thirsty for friendship. She had never told anyone about her loneliness. How did this man know this? He seemed like a smart man of God, so she decided to ask him a question that had been on her mind. Sir, Samaritans worship on a mountain. Jewish people say we should worship in a temple. Which one is the right answer? Jesus answered her. That's in the past. Soon, true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, anytime, anywhere. I know that Christ the Messiah is coming soon. I'm sure he'll explain the rules to us when he gets here. Dear woman, I am the Messiah. The woman could not believe her eyes. The same man who asked her for water, knew everything about her and told her she could worship anywhere was the Messiah. She was so excited to tell everyone that she had met Jesus that she'd left her water jar behind at the well. Because of the woman's story, the Samaritans asked Jesus to stay with them. So Jesus stayed for two more days, sharing his good news with them.